Welcome back to Biafra News Support. Biafra Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, Biafra I bring you updates. Another oh, two weeks sit at home has been announced by Biafra Prime Minister Simone. Wow. So before we continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're just coming across my channel for the first time, kindly click the right subscribe button and turn on the notification bell right beside it to turn about you get notification once I upload a new video. So yeah, the headline reads, the, here is the news and the headline reads, IPOB faction holders two weeks sit at home after South East leaders at Abuja meeting, closed door meeting. Okay. Factional leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Simon Ekba, has announced that there will be a two-week seat at home in Southeast. Ekba tweeted in the early hours of today to issue a fresh air threat of another lockdown. Oh, it's a threat. <laughs> Following the demand by Biafra people for more seat at home civil disobedience, the Biafra Republic government in Elza Bridgie and Biafra de facto government in the homeland wishes to notify Biafra that there will be a seat at home civil disobedience starting from 31st July 2023 to 14th August 2023, it was said. Hmm. He said that the seat at home is to demand the immediate and unconditional release of IPO Billy Damazen Namdekanu, who remains illegally detained at DSS Dungeon. It was stated that it is also in preparation for Biafra self referendum and to further put the word on notice that Biafrans are taking their future into their own hands. According to him, it will be observed to validate the illegitimacy of those who parade themselves as a Nigeria's, a Nigeria's a representatives within Biafra territory. The seat at home will therefore take place in the following order, Monday 31st July 2023 to Friday 4th. August 2023, and there will be a total lockdown in Biafra land. He said that on Saturday, 6th August, and the Sunday, 7th August, the two weeks long seat at home will go on break as all Biafra markets will be open. From Monday, 7th August to Friday, 11th August, there will be total lockdown in Biafra land, while on Saturday, 12th August, and the Sunday, 13th August 2023, there will be a break as all Biafra markets will open, it was said. On Monday, 14th August, there will be total lockdown in Biafra land where we hereby call on all market leaders to strictly adhere to this order and treat it with the utmost seriousness. We also call on all oil companies operating in Biafra territory to shut down oil exploration on these dates to avoid the anger of the Biafra people, which may come with heavy consequences. The seat at home order came hours after a closed door meeting of Southeast political leaders where they sought an in or sought an audience with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on resolving the security situation in the region. Governors, nationals, and the state assembly members and other notable leaders of the region were part of the meeting in Abuja. Speaking with journalists, the President General of Ohane Zendibo, Emmanuel Iwanyangu, said that said all the leaders across pol uh, political party lines have decided to work together for the good of the region. According to the chairman of the Southeast, uh, uh, go uh, governor's Forum, Governor Hope was at the State. The meeting estimated the prevailing security challenges in uh, the in the region. As the chairman of the Southeast uh, Governor Forum, I commi I communicated m measures being considered by the governors in tackling the insecurity. One of which is the planned high-powered delegation to the president. Uzodema tweeted. While we acknowledge the effort of the federal government in the past, we are optimistic that under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we will receive adequate intervention necessary to nip the maniac in the in the board. Oh, okay. Hope oh, was <laughs> Okay, oh. so before we continue with the analysis, I would like to read out some comments here. The well, first comment here is from a Yoruba person. His name is Kain. They said, uh, thank you, Simon Epa, for the good work you're doing. Nigerian government need no soft person. Carry on with the good work you're doing. The good people of Biafra are solidly behind you. Another person from uh, Wanchuku he said, if they like, let the meeting get ahead. If not, our prime minister is not so merciful. When he starts, he doesn't stop until victory is assured. Release Mazenam the can now and uh, another person said ipob has no faction 
It is under the leadership of Mazen Namdekan, which, Simone, which uh, Prime Minister Simone, while he's representing in his absence, stopped listening to those criminals claiming IPO because they have been sacked by BF friends. So some people are saying Simone Ekwa is the leader of auto. I don't even need to read all these comments because uh, they don't make sense. These are people that are still confused. I don't know what, where they belong. There is no faction in the in the IPOB movement led by Mazen Namdekan at Simon Ekwa. <laughs> okay, you persistent Simon Ekwa is not a member of uh, IPOB. Why can't you people be patient and fight for Hamadi K's unconditional release first? Let him himself come and tell us that Simon Ekwa is not a BFRN uh, IPOB member. You people should stop stressing yourself, leaving unnecessary and less uh, comment all the time on every post. So back to this um, news. Whatever they like, let them call a Biafra. It won't stop anything. Mm? The more they try, the, the harder they fall. So, sit at home. Two weeks sit at home has been announced. And the beer friends are going to sit at home. They are not being forced to sit at home. Our people are sitting at home. They say the sit at home is not working. It's not affecting them. But they are running haters. Scatter. Instant governors are on their news. They are on their news. Begging. Instead of them to look... Or solve the problem or what is causing it at home they are begging and leaning down in secret begging hmm? they haven't seen anything this is just the beginning either the release on hamadike unconditionally sit at home continues and it's it's affecting them that is what some of you don't know some of you think that it's it at home oh we people are doing it was this you people are doing it was that when the government to force the government that's supposed to provide for the people Force the people to sit at home for a complete three months, hiding all the palliatives without sharing it to the people they forced to sit at home for two, three months without providing for them. You people never ran to. But once it's IPO, you people start ranting, start ranting. When we sit at home, if I knew all the all his amen, uh, vowing to stop the sit at home. Now, two weeks sit at home has been announced. Let's see what will happen. They can't stop what is coming or they can't stop Biafra. They can't stop Ohamadike's unconditional release and they can't stop BFR restoration. There is nothing they can do. They have been trying and the more they try, the harder they fall. And that's how they will keep falling until BFR is restored. Until BFR is restored, there is nothing the enemies can do about it. BFRs are sitting at home willingly. They are not being forced to sit at home. Before you people push the narrative, before undisabled, you people will start coming on Facebook Live 10 times a day. Have it in mind that BFRs are not being forced to sit at home. They are sitting at home willingly. That is even for till thirty first of this month. So they have, uh, they have enough weeks or enough weeks. Let me say weeks or days to release Ohamadike unconditionally. If not two weeks, sit at home. After the two weeks, sit at home. Who knows what again? Uh, our prime minister will will like uh, other beer friends to do. And beer friends are going to do it. It's people say nobody listening to Simon Ekwa. It's you people that don't know where you belong. You people don't want to see your K free. You people don't want beer friends to be restored. It's you people that is kicking against sit at home. Real beer friends that know what they are doing and know what they are fighting for, agitating and struggling for, and that want Ohamadi K released unconditionally. They are sitting at home. Okay. Yeah, people should stop pushing the narrative that Simon Ekba now still sit two weeks sit at home or one week sit at home and they're forcing people or forcing people to sit at home. Those forcing our people to sit at home or harassing our people, attacking our people, are uh, the fool fools in Biafra land that are using the youth that don't know what to do with their life, that have no future ambition. Arming them to go and attack their own people. You people will come on Facebook Live without reasoning. Oh, let us be against Simon Ekba, they will like us. People will like our content. People will like our video. People will share our video. That is what some of you are doing. Let's talk against Simon Epa and sit at home. You'll see a lot of likes. you see people will like it. Those people liking it is those the, the, people that don't want you to be free. People that don't want Ahmadike to be released. They think they are fighting Simon Epa. They don't know they are fighting Ahmadike's unconditional release. They are fighting against a, a, a Biafra restoration. That is what they don't know. But the more they try, the more they fail. Let's see how the two weeks sit at home will go. You people ranted over one week sit at home. Now it's two weeks. Let's see how it goes. Until our Hamatike is unconditional release, sit at home or civil disobedience or obedience continues in Biafra land. So that is it, my people. I'll stop here. Don't forget to share. Share this very video. It's important to form our people that 
two weeks sit at home has been announced by Biafran Prime Minister and the Eastern Governor Sir Nilin Dandi. Two weeks sit at home has brought Eastern leaders on their news. They are begging. Oh, we are going to do everything we can to make sure that this sit at two weeks sit at home doesn't hold. You people who are lying to yourselves, deceiving yourselves. It's going to hold. Biafrans are going to sit at home. Genuine Biafrans that want to see Ohamadi K released unconditionally and Biafra restored are going to sit at home. There is nothing you people can do about it. You people cannot go and drag them out of their houses. They are a benini. The two weeks sit at home has brought Eastern leaders on their news. I'm telling you the honest truth. And the sit at home continues until they release Ohamadi K unconditionally. Thank you all.